wrote about the government of Sparta in the year? Uh, 395 B.C. Right. Did any government... Dennis? Mm. Vintage year 395 B.C. It won't be if you don't get it past your exam tomorrow. Oh. Hey, knock, knock. I thought you lured me here to study. You want to be the first one to go down in history as the first person to refuse to play a knock-knock joke? <laughs> All right, Milton Burrow, who's there? Olaf. Olaf who? Olaf, you more if you give me another kiss. You crazy. Mm hmm Now, did any government ever adopt the suggestions in the Plato Republic? No. Uh, yes? I guess now you're gonna ask me who? I thought I'd take a stab at it. Well, I'll hack away, darling, because I haven't the foggiest. The Turkish Ottoman Empire used his system of education. Well, bully for him. What's the matter, Dennis? You usually zip through these questions like you were reading a menu. Well, I guess maybe I'm not hungry tonight. At least not for studying. <laughs> There's plenty of time for that, after the exams. We have two glorious Easter vacation weeks. Oh, yeah, divided between your folks and mine. Whoopee. I thought you were looking forward to it. Oh, I guess I just want to rest before the grind, that's all. Which grind? The exam grind or the your folks, my folks, whoopee grind? <laughs> well, now, Laura, some of my best friends are parents. Now, listen, why don't we uh, dismiss class a little early today and go someplace a little less antiseptic, hmm? You'll be average. Mm -hmm. uh, I was thinking, uh, I thought maybe we'd go over to Professor Kroger's house. He's coming. Hey. Now, what is that supposed to mean? I ain't even married yet, and I'm going to name him as correspondent. You know, every time we get five minutes together, he rides her up on his white horse, and you jump on, and the two of you gallop off in some righteous cause. Oh, honey, listen, he's a very sharp guy with high ideals and a sense of what's right. That's... What windmill is he tilting at this time? Doesn't concern us. You want to bet? Honey, listen. Our vacation's all planned right down to the second. Your parents can study their future son-in-law and growl, and my parents can study their future daughter-in-law and beam. And then they can study each other and do heaven knows what. Last summer it was free speech demonstration, and then disarmament, and, and academic tenure. And at Christmas it was world law. What is it this time? Equal opportunity for the Eskimos? It doesn't have anything to do with us. He and a bunch of the fellows are, are spending their vacation teaching remedial reading to underprivileged ninth graders, you know, to get them through high school. And so. Don't you want to go with them? Well, no, honey. Everything is set. We're not going to change it. No matter how much you hate it. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. I've been saying it all night. I have been too wrapped up in our future to notice. You already told them you'd go? Well, I just told them I'd think about it. Well, that tears it. You knew how important this vacation was to me, to us. It was the beginning of our future together. I'm glad you participated. But enough for enough. You know, there's a time and a place. How about a little equal opportunity for me? Laura. I love you. Then take your exam tomorrow and come home with me. Oh, honey, I've met your parents and you've met mine. What difference does it make? I'm not going to marry them. What's two lousy weeks out of a lifetime? If it were only two weeks, it wouldn't matter. I could live with them. But it's two weeks here and, and two weeks there until it all adds up to my fiancé, the strength. Well, maybe there's something more than sitting around listening to your father analyze the giants and my father, the stock market. Well, maybe there is. But maybe this isn't the time to look for it. No, Laura, you don't understand. You're darn right I don't understand. You're chasing something, Dennis, but it isn't me. Friend or foe? Uh, undecided. <laughs> if 
Professor. Dennis, I was afraid you weren't coming. Well, I got a little hung up. How is Laura? Oh, the same. Well, I'm glad you came. I'm sorry she didn't. Come on in. Hey, Jay, how are you? Hi. Oh, hi, Dennis. How are you? Okay. Good. What can I get you? Hi. Whatever you're pushing. We can use fresh troops for a stale argument. Well, I can't stay, Professor. <laughs> oh? I just dropped by to tell you that I won't be going with you and the others tomorrow. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, well, you see, Laura and I have been planning to spend this vacation Listen, with our folks. plenty of other chances. You put in more than your share as it is. Now, well, I feel like I'm copping out. Look, all I can say is that there are no other generation like ours in history. Here we go. If there were ever a chosen people, we're it. Oh, Jay, chosen? Chosen for what? Answer me that, and I'll enter my car Saturday night, and I'll bother the gas even. <laughs> Look, there isn't one of us in this room who knows what it's like to go to bed hungry or can reject the fact that we're a thousand percent better off than two billion other people going in. True. So? So we can't be bought with a piece of bread. You're absolutely right, Jay. Well, I'm glad to see I'm finally getting through. Now the price is a $50,000 split-level fire trap and a fat pension, but we still have to play the game, buddy boy. But our main goal isn't just survival. Well, I'd like to survive in a $50,000 fire trap, split level or otherwise. <laughs> well, dig her, my daughter, the gold digger. <laughs> look, our generation can't fake it. We can't look around our world and shout, hear no, see no, speak no. What we're going to do with these kids is important. So we, we look around the world and say we're rejecting the easy life, the soft life, in this one gesture. We're doing something that's more meaningful, more important, more lasting. Now, what do you mean, gesture? Well, we're not going to make Einsteins out of these kids. You know, Jay's right there. This project is only a very small part of the answer. Yes, but once you add up all the parts, you eventually wind up with the whole. So? You get an A for logic, Dennis. The question is, what kind of whole do the parts add up to? Maybe we ought to look outside of ourselves, or we'll wind up with just a great big gesture that's no different except that it's king size. Now, that's the idea, Professor. We want a goal. Some sort of, well, some sort of meaning to that mess out there. God? Oh, heaven forbid. Don't you believe in God? Not particularly. Well, I'm a devout agnostic. That way you leave the door open if there really is a God. You're hedging the bet, Jay. What he's trying to say, Jay, either drop anchor or sail away. If there is a God, you're not conning him for a minute. And I don't see what difference it makes. As long as you leave some good behind you. You know, you've got the, uh, the Peace Corps, Freedom Ride, sit-ins. I mean, if you add them all up, they have to add up to something. I don't think we flubbed it. Okay, Jay, maybe you're right. Maybe we won't make geniuses of these kids, but at least we'll leave them with something, a part of us. Maybe the best part. We'll care. What do you mean, we'll care? No, 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 that's not my point. The point is, you can't feel you're going to lose before you even get the ball. You can't stop trying, give up, and wait for someone else to do it. There is no one else. We have to do it. Is that the editorial we, Dennis? Well, I guess it has to be. Just call me stupid. No, I don't think you are. And I don't think those kids will, either. You know, now all I have to do is convince Laura. I'm happy to say that is your job. <laughs> Athens drove out the government of Sparta in the year 395 BC. How'd it go? <laughs> well, I guess my B average is safe, thanks to you. All we have to do is pack. Give my best to Professor Kroger. Look, Laura, I've been doing a lot of... So things. have I. Honey, I know I've bugged out on you a hundred times before, but this is something I've got to do. Could I stop you? Don't try. I guess that's what I'm asking. Laura, it'll be different this time. I've heard that song before, Dennis. You know, you collect causes like some people collect recipes. Only, they don't seem to satisfy you. They're like Chinese dinners. You, you gorge yourself on them, and then an hour later, you're as hungry as you were before. All right, I know I've been hungry before, and I still am. It doesn't sound like much teaching a bunch of underprivileged children how to read. But it needs to be done, Laura, and I need to do it. I know you do. But I, I 
thought I... And I hoped that I could fill that hunger. Oh, honey, you do. No, not enough. Not completely. Oh, Laura, I love you. I don't know how many ways I can show you, but please try and understand. I do now. It's what I finally figured out. Dennis, you... You have to walk around the world to find things to fill you up. But I don't think that teaching or demonstrating is going to do it. I'm tired of chasing after you. All I want to do is find a place and make a life. Oh, honey, we have time for that. No, it's just about run out. Laura, look, I... Go on. You'll miss your blue plate special. Open. Hi, son. Hi, Dad. You almost ready? Yeah, almost. That's good. You might be able to get home for a late dinner. Well, I tried to call you, Dad, but you'd already left. I'm sorry you came. I'm not going home with you. Has well, something come up? I don't mind waiting. Well, it's something more than that. I'm spending my vacation teaching underprivileged children. Why? Because it needs to be done. Why do you have to do it? Because I need to do it. Look, Dennis, it isn't just for sentimental reasons that I wanted you to spend this vacation at home. There are some important people that you can meet that will help you after you graduate. I, I realize that, Dad. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disappoint you. Huh. I've reached an age where disappointments are routine. That's something you still have to learn. I've had a few. You haven't even begun. Lex, on six months from now, you're going to be leaving this ivy-covered cocoon to go into the real world. And what are you going to have to show for it? Some real practical hard business experience? Contacts? Or a trunk full of sandwich boards and bumper strips? You know, it's funny. Not too long ago, everybody was worried about a world of conformists. Now everybody's worried about a world of nonconformists. I think you want us to make waves, Dad. Just as long as they're not over three inches high. I just don't want you to drown yourself in them. Well, you taught me how to swim, remember? What about Laura? Oh, well, she doesn't understand either. Dennis, I've always tried to understand. I've never interfered with anything that you wanted badly enough, your choice of crusades or your career, because it was something that you had to do in order to grow up and mature. Well, this, too, is something that you have to do for the very same reasons. You've got to earn a living. To keep on living in a world that's a lot less than perfect, despite your best efforts. Dennis, you're a left-handed kid in a right-handed world. Well, it's time you switched hands. Or make the world left-handed. I don't think you'll find much call for that. Well, maybe there should be. If I'm left-handed, Dad, I want to stay left-handed. The kids themselves are even more confused. They don't know which end is up. They've been promoted as a matter of course, whether they were ready for it or not. So they think school is some place you go to kill time and have a few laughs. Now, it's our job to instill a desire to learn. If we happen to teach them to read a little better in the process, nobody's going to be angry, least of all the kids. Now, in two weeks, we won't be able to scratch the surface even. But let's just try to tickle their interest. And don't get discouraged. Now, we're not looking for miracles. Well, they won't be rejected if they happen, will they, Professor? No, Dennis. All miracles are gratefully accepted. <laughs> well, then why don't we try for a few and settle for the next best thing? All right, fine. Suppose you start settling in right here. This will be your classroom. Great. Come on, I'll show the rest of you where to get in. Come on, Wonder Boy. See you later. Bye, See you later. See you later. We're not leaving here until you read the page assigned to you. Now look, you've been here a week and a half and you haven't done any homework, you haven't read one word in class. I don't think I've ever heard you say anything. You're just not trying.
You know, I've checked your records, Billy. You're a bright boy. Do you know that? Why don't you want to learn? The others are making some progress. Look. It's important to you. It's important to me. Just try. That's all I'm asking. Try. All right, you can go. We'll start again tomorrow. Billy, you... took your mom to the bridge club. He, he said he'd be right back. You in the market for a slightly used fiance lady? I don't know what changed your mind, but whatever it was, I'm so glad. Well, to score one for the windmills. I'm sorry, Dennis. I really am. I thought all you had to do was grab a handful of truth and start throwing. You were right, you know, you and Dad. I didn't belong there. Or any of the other places I looked. I don't know, I gave them everything I had and all they could give me was... I kept fighting off the feeling of bugging out. And then when it got to be the only thought, I knew I had to quit. It'll be different now, you'll see. Played us my line. I know. But she used it for the wrong things. Yeah. Well, here I am, ready to fight the good fight for a jug of wine, a loaf of bread, and bow. <laughs> I guess maybe this is where I really belong. Didn't know it or wouldn't admit it. I'm glad you're here, Laura. I have my commitments, too. Are you hungry yet, Laura? Uh, the sign outside said that all prodigal sons are welcome. Always. How long do you plan to stay? Just as long as it takes me to learn how to use my right hand. Big step, son. But I know you do it. You knew more than I did, didn't I? Oh, I don't know. You know, parents aren't as dumb as they're cracked up to be. Laura and I were going out for dinner. Join us? Oh, great, yeah. I'll just be a minute. Oh, um, you remember Charlie Langner, Langner Industries? Yeah. He was very disappointed when you didn't come home. I think he'd still be happy to meet you. Well, I'd like to meet him. Fine. I'll call him while you get dressed. Hey. Welcome home. Yeah. Hi, Dennis. Oh, hello. A man could starve waiting for you to show up for a lunch date. Well, I'm sorry about that. So am I. You missed a good meal. Listen, Professor. I'm joining Langner Industries after graduation. Congratulations. I'm sorry I bugged out on everybody. It's, it's just that I had enough. It wasn't working. For whom? Me. Well, what about your students? <laughs> I couldn't move them with a stick of dynamite. And I gave them everything I had. What did you expect them to give back? Nothing. Well, why are you so disappointed then? Well, I don't know. Maybe I expected something more for myself. A feeling of self-satisfaction from seeing a worthwhile job accomplished. Well, then you did expect them to give you something back. 
their bright-eyed and enthusiastic cooperation as they sat at your feet, and their appreciation of your noble sacrifice. They didn't even try. I thought we were the ones that were supposed to do the trying. Well, why waste our time on a bunch of people who don't care what we're trying to do? It's for them. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Well, I guess I'm just not the uh, shiny-faced idealist I thought I was. You never were an idealist, Dennis, shiny, shiny-faced or otherwise. But that's no crime. At least you tried. Most people don't even do that. Yeah, that's me, gung-ho. The knight in shining armor riding off into all directions trying to forget this crazy itch inside of me by championing other people's causes. <laughs> well, that was me. You've lost that feeling inside of you, that itch of yours? No, no. I just got rid of the phony armor and stopped looking for something that doesn't exist. Like? Like meaning, fulfillment, complete and total. Like something more than a career, a happy marriage to hang one's life on. I don't, look, I'm not knocking them, either of them. But I wanted something, something more. Well, I guess I just got a hole in my heart to make it for the silver spoon in my mouth. That sounds like a very perfect something you're looking for to hang your whole life on, Dennis. Yeah, well, I just woke up to the fact there ain't no such animal. Well, I'm off duty, Dennis, and I promise no lectures. Just a suggestion from a friend. Maybe you're looking in the wrong place. What do you mean? Try looking outside of yourself, or Laura, or me, or any of society's human also ranks. Go to the source where meaning and fulfillment begins. Maybe you'll find what you're looking for there. A lot of others have. You? I know it's not the most accepted image of the forward-thinking professor of philosophy, but I had to waste a lot of years failed at a lot of things before I finally had enough guts to admit it to myself even, let alone the rest of the world. But it made all the difference. What I did suddenly had meaning, purpose. You know, it's funny. I believed in God when I came here. And it was your philosophy class that... One doesn't negate the other. Well, I guess I... I just couldn't find time to think about it, so I put it away on a shelf. Well, why don't you take it down, Dennis? You've got nothing to lose. Now that you've shed that armor, maybe you'll feel a little lighter. Hi, Laura. Hello, Professor. Well, I'll see you around the campus. Is that what's missing? Let's try looking for it together. <laughs> 